Okay, so in that last one, I was kind of teasing that we're going to be making the unique slug generator, but there's a couple things that we need to do first. Now we'll actually make that unique slug generator for our pages. Now that we have the ability to route the page, we need to actually have a slug that's related to that page. Now, first of all, we need to go into our models here for page, and we need to add a slug field. I'm going to add it right below featured, and we'll do models.slug field. And we'll just add null equals to true and blank equals to true. Actually, no, I don't want that. I'm going to say default equals to, and we'll just say page slug. Okay, so we're going to save that. And now I'm going to run the migrations. So let's, we can keep that server running. We'll do python manage.py make migrations. And then python manage.py migrate, get status, get add dash dash all, oh whoops, get add dash dash all, get commit, added slug field, git push Heroku master, and Heroku run python manage.py migrate, hit enter. Okay, so that's loading. Um, so while that's loading, I need to make a unique slug generator for all of my slugs. Now, I already wrote an article on how to do this. This is on our Coding for Entrepreneurs website and it gives us the code specifically for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring a new page into pages, and we'll call it utils.py, or YouTube new module, utils.py. We paste this in here, and notice that we've got a random string generator. This is, well, we don't actually have a random string generator. Luckily, the code it shows up right here where that comes from, so we can paste that in, and that is just another blog post that shows us how to do it. So I'm just gonna copy that code and bring it in here and just paste that in. There we go, I'm gonna get rid of these random stuff. So now I've got these two things working. So this random slug generator or random string generator is just to make sure that our slug is absolutely unique. Um, if you wanna see on how these things work, basically you can read through the documentation itself or you could um, go through and just test it. Basically what's happening is we're gonna pass an instance and it's gonna return a unique slug for us. So we can actually use this inside of our models. We can use it inside of our models with the inside of the save method, but I actually don't want it in the save method. Instead, I want it inside of slug. So for here, I'm also gonna say blank equals to true. I'm gonna allow it to be blank. So since I made some changes to that model, I wanna run the migrations. So Python manage.py, make migrations and migrate. I won't push it quite yet, but I will run those migrations. Now what I wanna do is bring in the signals that are what I'm gonna be working with, which is django.db.models.signals import pre-save. So I have this pre-save signal that I'll use. And then finally from .utils import the uh, unique slug generator. So down here, Underneath the model itself, I'm gonna do define, and this is gonna be um, pre-save receiver po uh, page model, and it's gonna take in sender instance, and then args and keyword args, and we'll say if the slug dot, if instance dot slug equals to page slug or instance dot slug equals to nothing, um, then we will say instance.slug equals to unique slug generator of the instance, and then that's it. So now we'll do presave.connect, the receiver function, and the sender being page. Save that, all right. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and run the server. Oh wait, let's make sure the server the server is already running, so let's go into the admin, and if we go into pages, if we click on either one of these pages, we should see that slug equals to page slug. I'm gonna go ahead and save and continue. Knock HQ again, it created the slug for us right in that slug field. We go to the other one, and I hit save and continue. Notice it says knock two. And if I created another page called knock two as well, um, this should also give us um, the a different sort of slug and I'll hit save and continue and it says knock two and then that's where that unique slug generator actually comes through. Okay, cool. So now that I've got that, 
Um, oh, and one other thing is if I leave this empty, it should work. So I hit save and continue. It does actually create that new slug for us. Okay, cool. So now that if I now that I have that, I can actually test out this by going to the URL itself. So I went to knock two. This should have gave given me the correct page, but let's go ahead and look at knock two. Knock two is the slug. So knock two slash. Um, it's looking like we're not actually getting our page detail here, so it's not giving us that. It's possible because of that dollar sign, it doesn't actually have a slash, it's just a dollar, and that is what's happening. So let's go back into our URLs, let's add that slash there. Okay, um, and now that we've got that, we need to add our page detail view, which is gonna be the same as our home page, right? It's actually gonna render the same as our home page. So really what I wanna do is in my views, I'll just say template name equals to pages slash home dot HTML. Basically the same thing as that home view, we refresh in here, and now it's gonna show us the page accordingly. Now, a knock two looks a little weird, so we might have to actually update some things such as the get context data. So we see it in as page object, so we're gonna change that from page object to just object, so then on home.html, wherever page object is, we wanna replace it with object. This has to do with the detail view, that the context for detail view comes in as um, object, not page object. Okay, so we save that, refresh in here. There we go, knock two's looking good. We go home, home is also knock two, so that's also looking good. And now everything is working um, closer to the way we want. Notice admin, I can actually get to admin now, and that has to do with how our URLs are routed. So I'm gonna put the slug one at the very end to make sure my other endpoints are still working. Refresh in there, there we go. Our page is now working. Knock HQ again, I wanna make this the featured one. I hit save. Now if I go to my home page, I now see that this one's working. Uh, but if I go to knock two, this is still showing us knock two and uh, all the other things are still working accordingly. So. I can actually bring this live and I can actually show this if I want to, right? I, if I want this to be shown, then I absolutely can. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and run some things. And I'm gonna do Python manage.py. I'm gonna dump the data, dump data. And this is pages.page, indent equals to four, format is JSON, and then we're gonna put it in pages.json, hit enter, get status, get add dash dash all, get commit, update pages for slug field, get push Heroku master and and Heroku run Python manage.py migrate. The reason I know I need to run migrate is because of this right here. And then we'll also add and and uh, Python manage.py load data pages.json, hit enter and it's gonna run for just a moment. So I'll go back and run the server, Python manage.py, run server. And now that we've got this, well, let's go ahead and just double check that our active is also working. So if we go into pages, knock two, we deselect active here, I hit save. And then now if I go to knock two, it now says page not found. Okay, that's good. So that's actually showing us exactly the way we want it to be. I'm gonna let this finish up on its own. If there's any errors or anything like that, I will address those in the next one. Thanks for watching.